Hello again guys! Welcome to our YouTube channel. Today, I'll be cooking one of the famous Filipino dessert or kakanin. We call it bibingka. It is usually cooked in clay pot and lined with banana leaves. Best served in a breakfast with hot ginger tea or coffee and topped with butter, cheese, and shredded coconut. But due to evolution of time, there are different toppings that suit our cravings. By the way guys, most of our viewers are non-subscribers, so consider giving us a follow by subscribing. It's free and it will help us continue to grow our YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Now, here are our ingredients. Condensed milk, salt, baking powder, coconut milk, butter, rice flour, glutinous rice flour, granulated sugar, and for the toppings, cheese, butter, shredded coconut, and eggs for the main ingredients. Now, let's start mixing our dry ingredients. Let's start with rice flour, glutinous rice flour, granulated sugar, baking powder, and salt. Just mix in all the dry ingredients and prepare our coconut milk. Let's pour into our dry ingredients and condensed milk together with the melted butter. Mix it again until all the ingredients are well blended with each other before adding the eggs. Just keep mixing until we achieve a butter consistency and set aside. Now it's time to prepare our leaves for lining. Just cut it into the sear shape that fit into our molds. Now it's time to pour in our butter on the molds. Just fill it until two-thirds of its capacity. Just repeat the process until the butter is finished. By the way guys, we're going to cook this bibingka on a modern way, not on a clay pot using the oven. At this point in time, our oven is preheated at 180 degrees already. For our videos of DIY and cooking, give us a follow on our YouTube channel, Facebook page, TikTok, Instagram, at Lutuing Pinoy Abroad. Now, it's time to our bibingka butter on our oven tray. We're going to cook it for 25 to 30 minutes. After 5 minutes, we're going to put our cheese for extra flavor on our bibingka butter. Now it's time to fully cook our bibingka. After 25 minutes, there is our bibingka. In this recipe, we top it with shredded coconut and shredded cheese. Now 
And here is our famous bibingka. Enjoy it with your family and loved ones and share the flavor and taste of this traditional kakanin. Now, let's us reveal our famous bibingka that we just made. And here is the famous Filipino traditional kakanin in the Philippines, bibingka. That usually served with hot salabat or coffee. Thank you very much for watching. God bless. Enjoy cooking. Happy eating. Bye-bye.